The time has finally come. Never thought I'd say this, but I've outgrown my trusty old Thunderbolt 3 dock. And that number should already give you a hint as to why. Three. We're on Thunderbolt 4 now, and I've been using this thing since 2020. That's when I last bought it on Amazon. And back then, it didn't cost $157. Nope, it cost almost $400. But technology progresses. This thing only outputs 85 watts of charging power. It only supports two 4K displays. And after you fill that up, it only has one extra USB-C port. The rest are all USB-A. And my collection of USB-A things is slowly deteriorating, except for the Logitech mice. For some reason, they're sticking to their guns. So what seemed like a lot of expansion back in the day is not so anymore. Even USB is behind. We're on 3.1 Gen 1. So Ivanki sponsored this video and they sent me a replacement, this thing. This thing is called the Fusion Dock Max 1, specifically designed for Apple Silicon machines, which I happen to have right here. And I'm hoping that this will be an upgrade in every single way. Now, yes, they sponsored this video. That means I have to say nice things about them, but I wouldn't have accepted this sponsorship if this thing wasn't better than what I have currently. And so far on paper, it's way better. Look at that. It can support four displays. It has Thunderbolt 4 via two Thunderbolt 4 chips. There's two chips inside there. It's got more power output 96 watts to charge my laptop my old dock had one gigabit network this one has 2.5 and i happen to be doing a network upgrade as well so i'm going to be making more videos about that total of 20 ports of connectivity so on paper it does seem like a much better option but i'm starting this video on a tuesday and i will tell you in a few days how things are going it might also involve me going to the store to upgrade my network switch obviously this dock is not going to be for everybody this is their top of the line one and it's it's not cheap. It's $439. If there's any sales, I'll leave a link down below. But they didn't forget about folks with slightly less needs. This one's called the Fusion Dock Pro 1, and it's much less at $199, but it still has quite a bit of stuff on there. 14 ports, so still more than my old dock. This actually might be enough for me. Three 4K HDMI ports, laptop charging at 100 watt max. Ah, it only has one gigabit ethernet, and I want it to go to 2.5. So I'll stick with the big boy here. And they also have this little one called the Fusion Dock 1. This one looks more like a travel one, which is very compact and it still has 96 watt power delivery power supply. Even the smallest one is pretty capable, but it also has only a gigabit ethernet. So keep an eye out for that. For most scenarios, a gigabit is still fine, but I'm going to set up a NAS in another video and I want 2.5. All right, the two little guys, I'm not going to bother unboxing, but I will give them away to you folks. Just leave a comment down below and I'll ship them to somebody that's in the continental United States. Sorry, it's very expensive to ship overseas. I'll randomly pick a comment in a couple weeks. Here we go. Designed for Mac OS, quad monitor support, 40 gigabits per second. This thing has quite a striking design, very unusual. And what's interesting is that its footprint is actually smaller than my previous one. This is a hunk of metal. This whole thing is metal, in case you're wondering. Instructions, cable ties, accessories, power cable. Now, here's the catch. To support all that crazy throughput, it's going to require two of your Thunderbolt ports on your Mac. And it comes with a special plug so you can plug both of them in and so that you don't forget to plug both of them in. 40 gigabit connection on each cable. That's crazy. What's in this other fun box? Ah, of course, the obligatory brick. And they give you an HDMI cable. It's an 8K HDMI cable. That's nice of them. All right, here's the moment of truth. I'm plugging it in. Okay, allow accessory to connect. Allow, allow. All right, is it doing anything? Oh. The monitor popped up. That's a good sign right there. There's my monitor. I've connected that one through the USB-C on the back. So far, so good. I've replaced pretty much everything I had on here and then some, and I'm getting pretty decent speeds in my internet too. It's limited by a gig, not only because my network internally is a gig, but also because my up and down links are also a gig. So I'll always have a gig up and down, but my hope is that internally I can get 2.5. So that brings me to doing more shopping. I need to go get myself a 2.5 gig switch. One week later. 
I'm back and I'm here to report uh, what I've been up to with this particular doc after uh, about a week. And I created this little setup here as a test. I don't normally have it like this. I find it a little bit too much to have four monitors up, but maybe you don't. I like having multiple displays. It's very convenient, especially with multiple desktops and multiple displays. I can switch desktops here. I can switch desktops here. I got my windows here. I got Slack, notes, code, code, reports. Everything is open and everything is visible to me all at once. I love that. And that's what this dock is capable of easily. Not only that, but I have multiple configuration options that I can use. I'm using all USB-C outputs right now for all four of these monitors. I've never had a dock that I could just use four USB-C outputs. There's also HDMI outputs that I'm not even using. And on top of that, I have two more USB-C ports on the dock and a bunch of USB-A ports that I'm still not using. Now, what have I been doing for the past week aside from running multiple monitors like this? Well, the biggest benefit that I got was getting faster network connection from my computer all the way to my switch, my main switch. And my NAS is connected to my main switch. So now I'm getting 2.5 close Close to 2.5 gigabit per second speed all the way to my NAS. <sighs> If you say that really fast, it doesn't sound good, but you know what I mean? That's more than double the speed that I was getting before copying large files back and forth between my NAS and my computer. And everything in between is now 2.5 gigs as well as a result of my upgrade. But we're talking about the dock. So I've tested the dock. I've tested the headphone output on that. I've tested the SD card reader, the TF card reader, which is just micro SD. So in every area that I was using my previous dock, this dock does that and better. And there's one more thing. This dock can actually save me space on my desk if I position it standing up, which is something I couldn't do before. So that design is pretty clever. Not only is it going to be a heat sink of sorts, it's all metal, but you can lay it flat, completely flat, or you can stand it upright completely flat as well, depending on the configuration that you want. I do have some space back there behind my monitor, so I could lay it flat. But if I ever downsize my desk, I could stand it up too. Now, for a while, I was worried about stability of this dock uh, because I don't know, just switching to a new brand. It's always kind of like, well, do we trust it or not? I've been using my old one for years and it's too early to tell for me right now but for the past week it's been completely solid there's been no issues with it at all the only thing that i do worry about is what if i lose this special double cable well that cable is nothing special all it does is just keep those two cables together so if you lose it you can just use two regular thunderbolt cables the only advantage of having it together is that it kind of reminds you that you're plugging them in together and you don't have to do it twice it's just one motion convenience so the bottom line is 20 ports, which is a ton of connectivity, dual Thunderbolt 4, as you've seen with all the connected monitors I have, nothing else could drive that. Quad displays, we've seen that. 40 gigabit per second transfer rate, that's pretty standard for Thunderbolt 4. 2.5 gigabit ethernet, yes. Now I did not hook this up to 6K displays, but it is capable of that in case I want to upgrade one of my displays or two of my displays in the future. It can support two 6K displays. So in conclusion, this dock meets some pretty serious demands. Now, if you don't need that many monitor outputs, of course, you do have that Fusion Dock Pro option, which can do triple 4K displays. And it only has 14 ports connectivity. So yeah, it's a little bit less ports, but 14 ports is still more than my old dock. Gigabit Ethernet, if you don't care for 2.5 or 10 gigabit Ethernet. Now, out of you folks watching, I'm curious to know how many monitors you use and what kind of dock are you using or what kind of solution are you using to drive those monitors? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to check the channel um, in a few weeks about the winner. Well, in this case, winners. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time.